so guys in this video i'm going to explain to you guys how to create unlimited referrals and you can't be tracked so the app for today is virtual android so see the app here so a virtual android is just an app that you have a second phone it's more like you have two phones in one phone so with this virtual android you can create multiple binance accounts multiple any update any update money making update that requires self referral you can do it and you can't be tracked so even this my daily cash update that we are running currently you can use the virtual android to create multiple accounts so the virtual android we have many types of virtual android as you can see i have vmos pro f1 vm and uh i think i have three i do not even see the other one so and this one but i will recommend you guys to use this one because this one is the best and i'll explain this virtual android is also available on play store but i won't recommend you guys to download the one on play store because it crashes see it here so you i will share the link in the group or my telegram channel or whatsapp group i'll share the link for you and uh, the file for you guys to register so this one is modded so this one to set this up you will need the app and the file so i'm going to explain to you guys on how to do the processes so you need to create a file a folder called patch see it here and import the file inside so let me just delete the file and everything let me just uninstall the app and do the process from the beginning so let me go to the folder that i created what you do now first thing is that just press on the file this the uw zip don't extract it just copy it preferably copy not cut there's a reason for that so once you copy it just create a new folder you can use any file manager of your choice you can use any file manager of your choice so just create a folder named patch and make sure the p is in capital letter the first p letter is in capital letter press on ok so locate the file the patch file in your in all your folders so see it here so then paste the file here mind you i haven't installed the app yet just create a folder and put, paste the file there once you do that head over to the app and install the app so once the app is installed then you can do self-referral and i'm going to explain you might have all these security error issues just press on install anyway i'm using different uh file manager yours won't choose you might not show you that prompt so as you can see the app is now installed that's the process that's all so let me enter the app and show you guys what i mean just allow all these permissions once you are done press on start so this is the this the wallpaper came with it you understand so this you are loading the app up so i'm going to explain to you guys how to do self-referral and rest so you will see this uh activation logo or something like that you wait for it to load up so once it's load up this is how the dashboard looks if you look at the interface it's more like you have two phones in one phone look at the dashboard doesn't the interface looks like old techno phones like all those infinix all those android 7 android this thing so it's more like you have two phones see now now different phone even wifi story as you can see android 7 i can minimize see my main phone here see the interface is different and my phone is android 12. so you can see my phone version here android 12 I can see the vmos android 7 so it's more like you have two phones in one phone so what well, if you want to import a a, a uh, an app for the self referral just press on this import once you press on import it will import from your main phone just allow the source and the rest and all these don't worry it's not any an issue you know all these things all this cloning 
is prohibited on android because they don't want you to be cleaning apps taking advantages of all these things that's why you are receiving this prompt but it's 100 percent safe so these are the apps on my main phone that is here my main phones the apps that are here you can just import so let's say for example this is my daily cash update that we are running just press on import so i'm going to install the my daily cash app in my phone you can use it for any apple binance any app of your choice even binance you can be running multiple binance accounts and once you are done like once you register do you know what you do just clear the data of the app i'm going also going to do that for those of you that want to understand just clear the app data of the app app data of the app then you don't have to import the file the, pa the file is there permanent that patch file is there permanent so as you can see this is my daily cash app you can go ahead and do the rest it will work after you have done with the first refer just clear press on it app info clear data any app that you are doing any self referral app that you are doing once you are done if you are using chrome for self referral import just import your browser opera once you are done like you have registered the site or put your opera once you have registered the site you can clear the data of your vmos the app clear the data of the app run it again you don't have to download it it won't even chop your data even to mb safe it won't take so it doesn't use internet connection it's free so that's pretty much it so we'll be using this app for updates for self-referral any app even binance if there's any binance of events for for registering for new users or even logging into your other binance account once you want to register just clear the app add data once you have imported a Binance, you have done everything that you, that you want to do, finish, clear the app data, import another Binance account again, do the same process over and over again. So, for those of you that don't understand, on your settings, storage, press on clear data, clear all data. Mind you, it would, it will, it's more like up to 2 gig, it will show you up to 2 but that file, I've cleared the data, but that file is still there, that file is still intact. Where is it? That patch file. It's still inside so it's not like you import again you, know, you are done i'll just clear data enter the app again clear data enter the app again clear, enter, you understand and it won't use any of your data you see same registration setup so i hope you guys understand the video please do make sure to like and subscribe the video because i take my time to find good money making updates for you guys so that's pretty much it thank you so one thing to know, note lastly is that you can even add, you can add your email to Google Play Store. Just so add your email, email, uh, email address. Once you add it, download Gmail for you to be receiving your emails. You understand? You don't have to be clearing the data. You can even be using it to run one Binance account, two, three, four. You understand? It will go through. So that's pretty much it. You can download apps through it anything that it's just like you have another second phone inside your phone mm -hmm. likewise you can download this one i would recommend don't download this vmos pro it has issue as well i would recommend you guys to download this f1 vm it is much more stable for this f1 vm if you want to download it, it's not recommended you can still be using that this virtual android that i just explained to you guys but if you want to download the f1 vm just go to their website f1vm.com and download the file the file will cost you i think 600 to 700 mb i'm not sure so the site isn't even loading up okay it has load up just download it if you download the file then just activate it same interface same procedure same everything so that's pretty much it but i even advise you guys to don't even download it just continue be using your virtual android this one because this one will also serve the same purpose as that one so that's pretty much it so guys this is a very important thing you have to do you have to download this file manager explore you can download it from play store or maybe i'll share the link i'll share the apk to the group so i'll tell you the reason why you need it so let's say for example you want to do self referral for an update so let us let me use this binance you understand this binance link let's assume it is a your link for self referral you have copied it so guys like i said you need this file manager so I'll, I said I will drop the uh, app, I'll send the app to the group for you guys to download as well. So let's assume you want to do self-referral. So let's assume this is my Binance bar. Like let's assume this is a link for like my link for 
a site or an update for self referral so i just copied my link i want to come to vmos so if i come to vmos mind you it comes with this via browser you can be using this via browser or you can import the browser that you normally use on your phone you know how to do it just search it so or you can use this via browser it comes with via browser so let us know i've come to my via browser you see the paste you know they work like it's not working this as a result of you have two different phones so you ask so how can i send my link to the virtual android like if i copy it from my phone i enter virtual android and it's not pasting so we have solution you see paste is not uh, showing up so we have two options three options it's either you add your email send it to your email that one is also tiring or put whatsapp and be sending it to your whatsapp that you install on your vmos on your virtual android you see that one is also stressful so that this is where this uh, file manager comes in place so with this file manager you create a txt file there's what we call txt file so any update that you are doing money making updates let's assume this is your self-referral link this one is your self-referral link so you copy it enter your explore file app so under internal storage make sure it is internal storage you understand under internal storage press on here this right top corner sorry sorry no not right top corner here under this mod, uh, module these options you see new text file see it's a new text file so press on it once you press on it don't cancel this txt you leave it the way it is just txt leave it the way it is then name the file so let me let us say the the update name you can name it anything that you like let's 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 me uh let me make my own binance you can name it anything you want regarding to the update if the update is binance write binance if the update is so 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 thing so write so 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 thing so binance.txt let me write anything sha just write anything once you write anything press on ok so the file is created so what you do now is that go to your link that you as in you understand you copy it out just copy it once you copy it long press on anywhere on this blank page just from press on it you see paste so i've pasted my binance link now that is let's assume another update you have pasted the link so then press on here once you press on it press on save i've saved the file so this is my referral link so this is what you do now i've saved it then go to your virtual android Question on import you know you can import app and you can import file then we are going to import that our binance file that we created that's your referral link file that you created and import it to your virtual android then you can copy it from there and paste it to your browser so you get you guys get the g so let me go to you press on importing file once you press on importing file, press on this plus icon then you know we just created it on the phone just just go down see let where is it see it here this is it just this just press on it then tap on it just select open HTML just once you understand is this not the file uh, the link so just long press on it select all copy so this one is much more better then I can go to my via browser or any browser of your choice that you imported paste the link you understand I know even on my mo uh, mobile data paste the link that's pretty much it see it here any update of your choice that is link just save it at uh txt format import it copy it paste it on your browser and so on and so forth you don't have to send it to your email or whatsapp that is cumbersome you understand and time consuming so i hope you guys find this video helpful please do like and subscribe to the channel for more money making updates and tech tips bye